Hello fellow Wii Assemblians and welcome to the first STFD. For the past month I've been hoarding submissions from the fastest members of the community. First, the course. From the starting box, ships charge through the start straightaway before immediately being hit with turn STFD. From there, they must quickly accelerate around Farmer or Master before being forced down the swizzle. If they make it through, they're hit with the sharp red opener before testing their maneuverability through the curves of Red's Revenge. After that, they must turn around the sharp angles of the board corner without touching the generators at the apex. And if they make it through all that, they must fly around the final curves, destroy the core, and touch the checkers at the end of the track to finish their race. Ships must fit within the starting box and may only use Terran parts. No stacking and no spinning. All the videos you'll see after this were recorded by this tournament's participants, with the fastest race completion being the winner. Now, let the races begin. First up, we have Iron Bob. With his very small and fragile racer using a decoupler as its weapon and bumper. But the ship's use of small rects as a structure means that it loses thrusters at the slightest touch. And here we go! Immediately, those thrusters are taking hits through turn SDFD and Farmer Remastered. He cruises through the Swizzle and the Red Opener, but here's Red's Revenge. Now Bob's slowing down. The thruster positions on the ship make it hard to stray through those curves. And that's the boom of the decoupler saving his ship. Barely through the board corner, and he's bonking through the final curves. Find the acceleration. Hits the core, and that's a race, ladies and gentlemen. Driving like a true Bob. Good job, me. Now up, we have MGW. Running a very simple, but very good rhombus of thrusters, using a decoupler like I Am Bob's racer. His ship looks like it has insane forward and backward acceleration, and we'll see how that ends up. Now, away we go! Cruising through SDFD and Farmer Master, you can really see the benefit of a low mass acceleration here. However, it looks like his ship is struggling to stray through Red's Revenge. Through Red Revenge, and here comes the board corners. In the final curves, showing some great spinning action along those turns. Through the ending passage, destroying the core with ram damage, and he finishes the race. And to finish it off, a nice victory dance from the AI. Quite a way to cheese the tournament. Well done, MGW. Here we have Debris with their very chunky ball of a racer, covered in rockets and filled with thrusters, taking up an entire sixth of the size of the starting box. As you can see, he employs the very peculiar strategy of using rocket launchers as bumpers to the course. Not a bad idea. And away he goes, bumping to everything and just not caring. Around Farmer Remastered and through the Swizzle, those launchers work wonders. The size isn't helping in Red's Avenge, but Riz keeps on churning those turns. Some nice rolling action through the board corner. Through the final turns and smashing that core, and that's a race. A very unique racer and great to watch. Good job, Debris. Now here we have Joyce 18, racing a pentagonal ship using rocket launchers as bumpers, just like the beast ship. I'm seeing a lack of strafing thrusters, but it looks like Stupid is using a slider thruster layout. Joyce has requested their pronoun to be stupid, so that should be fine. And let's speed right into that. Joyce barely thrusting, but look at it go. Around the board corner with a roll using those launchers. And 
here's a smooth execution of the swizzle. Oh, there goes Stupid's main left thruster. And the entire back of Joyce's ship is shredded just as it regens. We're taking precious time regenerating. Here the problem of using weapons as structural blocks begins to show. More cautious approach through Red's Revenge. Stupid doesn't want to lose any more launchers. Around the board corner we go and into the final curves. Now slider thrusting isn't going to be much help, and more than half the racer disappears! A massive time loss, but Joyce recovers. Going through the turn. Blocking the edges. And finishing the race. And with that, we've wrapped up the races. Now let's take an overview of each race before we rank them. Iron Bob is a coupler bumper racer missing strafing thrusters. MGW, a speedy omnidirectional racer using a decoupler as a bomb, but slow to turn. Grease, a bee moth of a racer protected by launchers, but also caught by them. And finally, Joyous, a launcher structured racer, a bit too fragile for its regeneration. Now, let's go over the prizes. First place gets to make me write 50 lines of absolutely anything, as long as it's not NSFW, and I'll stop if I've worked on it for more than four dedicated days. Of course, what I'll write can always change depending on how I feel. Second place, absolutely nothing. Third place, also absolutely nothing. And last, but not ever least, last place gets one R as a consolation prize. So without wasting any more time, let's look at the rankings. Joyce, 77 seconds. I am Bob, 36 seconds. MGW, 30 seconds. And first place with a time of just 26 seconds. Debris, contact me privately or publicly. You now have the power to make me sad. Thanks to everyone who helped with this. It wouldn't be possible without you all. You know who you are, and you know why. I'll probably try to do this again, but no promises. Hope to see you again, everyone.